Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm with Sam Kili. Yay! <laughs> okay, Sam Kili, uh, can you tell like my subscribers a little bit away? So, okay, my name is Sam Kili Chikula Briefly. I am a graduate of the University of Benin, okay. Department of English and Literature, and I currently own a business, Summit Habitatory, and so, doing various types of researches and stuff like that. So if you want to buy research and um, bracelet, then trust me, they are very nice if you like them. So today we'll be talking on uh, unrealistic expectation and the other video we'll be talking on how to deal with toxic people, you know, like a lot of toxic people around, too much fake friends and you know, basically how to just rid yourself of the toxic energy. So today, but firstly we'll be talking on unrealistic expectation. A lot of time we set certain standards that are very unrealistic and we wonder why they don't come to pass so first some clearly will give us his view on what unrealistic expectation is then we give you certain tips or how uh, to deal with unrealistic expectation or to how these are unrealistic expectation actually ruins people right. so, okay, so when you talk about unrealistic expectations, so sometimes unrealistic means something not feasible, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. An expectation is something you want to get with something. When you talk about unrealistic expectations, you literally mean in layman's term, something that does not make any sense and you expect to get it from <laughs> something. <laughs> you understand? When you combine the two of them together in a way like that. So, I feel these days people put too much pressure on themselves. To be a self, okay, at this age I must do this, at this age I must have done that, or at this age I must have done that. And at the end, when they don't do those things, at that, those particular stages they've set, yeah. they feel they have failed. But then they fail to put into consideration the little milestones that they've accomplished in this period. So when you talk about OIS expectation, I think that is a problem that affects everybody. <laughs> okay, uh, I feel less. When we are talking about realist, uh, unrealistic expectation yeah. in terms of uh, setting goals for yourself mm -hmm. or achieving certain things, uh, most times you hear people say, uh, I will be happy or I will, uh, until I have certain things, like maybe yeah. until I have uh, money or I'm living in a mansion yeah. or I'm driving the biggest kind of time. Not like, no doubt, all those things bring certain happiness and bring comfort and fun later on. But I think most times people don't know that if you don't work on your inside, yeah. you cannot you cannot affect your outside. Yeah. So that's one thing. So now let's talk about unrealistic expectation in terms of your life generally before we move into relationship because a lot of people set un unrealistic standards. Okay, yeah, that, let me say an example of unrealistic goal that you're going to be in next time we'll see. Be honest with yourself, you are not going to be in the next <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to be the next. No, I'm serious. I feel these are things that we should talk about more often. You are not going to be the next Dango team. You are not going to be the next Brigitte. You are not going to be the next one of the vets. You understand? So I feel people set this ridiculous standard for themselves. Oh, be like, oh, God can do anything. Yes, God, but God, yes, God can do anything. anything. But let's also still be realistic. You understand? None of these things you are most likely not going to do it. But yes, you could be the next Dango team in your village. Not in terms of money, in terms of impact. Also in money, but not in a widespread. You understand? Like. Dangote, dangote, you could be dangote in your crown. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel that in people's lives, they just set unnecessary. And because an unnecessary expectation is so a standard for you. So it's a standard. I feel like people set unnecessary standards for themselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, um, most, most times it comes in terms of wealth or status quo. They'll be like, oh, until, like, like you said, until I reach this level, until I have four cars, I will not be happy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Because, first of all, happiness. Although we may say, okay, um, money does not be happening, but give money, but the fact that at the end of the day, money does not matter, happiness. So, by the time you have four cars, because you're looking at yourself right now, okay, you're like, look at yourself right now, you have 10 naira in your account. You say, okay, when I have 100 naira in my account, I'll be very happy. But by the time you have 100 naira, your problems that are graduated from the ones you had when you were 10 naira to 100 naira problems. So, at that point, you're actually always still living in a bubble because human, let's say, human uh, means that it's such a good, um, quote and quote probably not be finished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just just I'm like you cannot tell me Dante has problems. Dante has money problems too. He does not have money problems. He will still sit down, he will 
You probably sit down and say, okay, let me just spend all the money I have. Yeah, somebody, exactly. yeah, you know when the uh, Bonaboy said, thank you, they still find money. Like, exactly. He still, he still needs money to do him. other things. Mm. He still needs money to do other projects that he wants to do. He still has projects that he, I'm very sure if you ask him now, there are things he wants to do right now in his business or in his life that he doesn't even have the funds for. You understand? So I feel we should stop tagging the happiness to different kind of things. Stop setting unnecessary standards. Stop expecting unnecessary things. Okay, there's one other thing too. Uh, people believe uh, people who are they call themselves cause a perfectionist. <laughs> also, people believe you can't fail. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, like it's good to actually no like I think most times people believe uh, when don't don't get me wrong. It's good to read and prepare. It's good to have a, a realist a realistic goal that okay i'm going to get this i'm going to get that yeah. it's not going to be all perfect like when i started the youtube i didn't know anything about video editing or anything but i knew that i wanted to do something i wanted to yeah. impact yeah. so i just said if i release the first the first few few videos which yeah. i will release are not going to be perfect yeah. but if i'm thinking of i must get the camera i must get a tripod i must get yeah. the lens, this other, i will not do anything exactly. so those are all, the, all those unrealistic things i will have set for myself I want this to be perfect and I believe that it won't fail. Yeah. So one thing that people do is they don't believe that they are going to fail. Yeah. But the thing is people fail at certain things doesn't mean that you should give up. Yes. Doesn't mean that that thing won't work out. Yes. Eventually it will work out. But people should always know that things fail sometimes. Yeah. Things fail sometimes. Yeah, because I remember also I was watching an interview where Beyonce was talking. And she was talking about how many times she had been nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. And incorporated how many times she had won. She has won like yeah. 23 or 24 times. And she was nominated like had, 40 something. Yeah. So she was like that for, I think even more than that. Say. But she was like that for those number of times, they had to, she had to hear them call out the nominees and she did not win. You understand? But at the end of the day, like I heard somebody say, at the end of the day, people only remember when you win. You mm -hmm. Nobody remembers when you fail mm -hmm. in the long run. At the end of the day, it's what you have to bring that. It's when you win, you remember that. Is what you win or when you win, that is what people remember. Yeah, uh, that's one. I remember that uh, this that interview too. That was a very powerful interview talking about uh, how she, like the number of outbreaks she had. Yeah. Because every time, you know, when you're in that kind of odd seat too, yeah. you, everybody always wants to win. Imagine yeah. everybody that was nominated for Emmy that just yeah. happened. And of course, not everyone will win, but the outbreak that will come after that so it doesn't mean that you should stop acting as a person so we should always not you should always create this a very realistic situation create something small something short term it's good to create something long term don't get me wrong like i have i know where i want to be in the next uh, this thing like i have an expectation of what this channel will be like in the next mm -hmm. one to two years but doesn't mean that i will once i start this channel we have more million subscribers immediately no that's unrealistic i yeah. know that that's unrealistic but I know that I will work towards that. Exactly. That is something more yeah, realistic. The amount of work you put into things, like it, it goes a long way. Yeah. So, okay, like let me take like that. Last sometime last month or last two months, I did a sale, in my business. The sale lasted. I had I had to the sale for like one week, and the sale lasted for one week. Yes, I have to. I had I hyped it up a week before the sale started, and I did a sale for one week. And I can tell you that the, I did like half price slash, almost half. Okay. And I tell you that for the one week I did sell, only one person bought. <laughs> I said to God, only one person bought. <laughs> but you're already expecting that everything will sell and, out. Yeah, because on a normal day when I don't do sale, I sell fast. But one head, only one person bought. I was shook um, throughout it. But I told myself, every day, every blessed day, like when I said on Monday, I don't sell anything. On, on, on Tuesday, I said remove. Tuesday, nothing. Wednesday, move. Thursday, nothing. Friday we moved, Saturday I sold one, forget. When I did finish, I still went to watch and I posted, thank God for a wonderful and this is serious. <laughs> you cannot let life is because you cannot let life problems bring you down. You understand? Yes. You like challenges will come. Yeah, challenges will always come. You cannot keep expecting too much. Don't be expecting too much. I say if you don't expect too much, you don't be disappointed. But I then again I feel you can expect a lot, but also keep in mind open that like I look at the question, I always plan for the like what is this thing happens, you understand? Maybe, maybe probably because I talk to myself, I don't know why. But <laughs> before I do something, I've played out every possible scenario I've acted it out. So I'll just plan, okay, what if this happen? How will I deal with it? I guess. So, so uh, when we're talking about unrealistic, uh, unrealistic expectation in terms of 
relationship now. <laughs> when, when we're talking about relationship, it doesn't mean I have to be romantic. Like yeah. I said that in my previous video, relationship doesn't have to do with romance every time. We are talking about uh, family, we're talking about your friends, people that yeah. actually keep close to you. When we're talking about unrealistic expectation now, yeah. how do we, uh, what's in what aspect do we set unrealistic expectations for people? I think one of the most biggest unrealistic expectations people have in relationships, both romantic and non-romantic, is that you can change somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can never change another person. Like what I keep telling, okay, they have this friend who their boyfriend was doing some wild shit like that. And I keep telling them, this person is an old ass person. This person is old. This person is like, there's some case old. There's nothing you want to do. <laughs> I'm saying there's nothing you can do to change somebody. In fact, that at the end of the day, like, there's something I heard. The only thing you are actually responsible for is the choices you make. I can bring a gun now and point it on your head and say, kick these buckets or I shoot you. You can kick the buckets, but in natural sense, you did not kick the bucket because I pointed a gun on your head. Because you still had the choice not to kick it and I will shoot you. You understand? That way, that way, in you hear court, they say, okay, they did this person under duress. They, they did not say he did not do it at all, but they say he did it under duress. So, I'm talking about, in sense of relationships, you cannot change somebody. Whatever they want to do is what they will do. Like, I, I hear some people say, oh, and this person should they show them with love, show them with good sex, show them with this. I don't know, here, um, especially for women, like if you cook, you do this one. See, you will cook, you will clean, you will <laughs> do everything. And, that person will still do whatever it is they want to do. You understand? People have their own mind. They will do whatever. Nothing you can do. Nothing. You, it change starts from them. You understand? So. Yeah, I believe once the person is ready to change, the only person that can change you is yourself and God. Yeah. If you are not ready to change as a person, you are not ready to grow as a person. There's no, nobody else. So don't be going into a relationship thinking. What God say? Because the Bible says, I've been for your life and death. I pray that you choose my life. life. I'm not say I bring for your life and death and choose life. So that I pray you choose life. You understand? So even God said, God, what God, I think what God does provide choices for you. For you. Say, this is this, this is this. Yes. It's all left to you at the end of the day. Your choice is choose what you want to do. So I think that is one of the ways people expect it's, it doesn't make any sense. You go into a vision with somebody, okay, before you got married, you know this man was saucy. This man is a um he fights or he does something. Okay, I'm not saying point out for people that have to go into relationships. <laughs> when you go on a date to somebody, I'm serious. So when you go on a date to somebody, eh, notice how the person treats the waiter or the person serving. However, they treat the waiter, the person serving food or attention to people, is how they treat other people in real life and it's how they treat you in the future. So that's what I was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what I was saying. Nice tips, I guess. <laughs> so that's what I was saying. Before you get married to this person, you know this person, this person this way, he doesn't go to church, he doesn't so and you're like, oh, when you get married, he will change. They may change, they may not change. What I'm saying is that there is almost little or nothing you can do to make that person change. You can do everything you just if you want to do, and the person does not want to change, they will still not change. Mm. So that's an unrealistic expectation. Okay, uh, another unrealistic expectation in terms of relationship is everyone, you always think everyone will like you. Yeah. The, the, you always wanting to please everybody yeah. around you. Do you, you feel that? If you do this thing, somebody will like it. If you do this, some, and if someone doesn't like it, you start beating yourself about it. Not everything yeah. you do, everyone will like. Yeah. That's something you should know. Not everyone will adore you. Not everyone will like you. You just have to deal with the fact that there are people in this life that will just hate you. Like even yeah. your celebrities, I'd be like, well, what don't you like about them? They still have it. There are still people that insult them. I that I like watching this. Uh, this guy's uh, uh, Jimmy Jimmy Fallon, Abby. Jimmy yeah. Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel, yes, Jimmy Kimmel is the one that he reads mean tweets. Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Fallon, he reads mean tweets of top celebrities. People will be like, why we ever want to hate on this person? But there are people outside that we hate on it. Same way, Buzzfeed with uh, on Buzzfeed, people read first uh, first tweets. The same way they read mean tweets. So the idea that everyone will like yeah. you is unrealistic. Wait, let me say something. Okay. I also learned that in life and do you people will adjust. Case example, I'm going to give two examples. Bob Risky number one. When Bob Risky first came to the Nigerian since it was very controversial. Many people did not like him. Almost every almost everybody was bashing him, stuff like that. And people so oh, cross dresser, a fag, this one, that one. But look at now. Everybody wants to be a silver whiskey, entirely. I'm serious, and you are hypocrites. That, if, once you know that people are hypocrites, you, you, life will be easy for you. 
Look at now, every, most everybody, what well, should I say everybody, you see? They will say they don't like you, but in this comment section, they are begging for 5k or 50k. Okay. <laughs> Another example, okay. when Cardi B Festival came out and Tikashi 6 9 people were both giving them heat for using the N-word. They were like, oh, they're not black, why using the N-word? They're not black enough. Exactly, why using the N-word? Cardi B is Latina. Yeah, no, no. Like, okay, no, that, like, who Tikashi, people were like, oh, why is using this? It's meant for only us. Okay, good. I'm not saying that saying the N word is good in any situation. It's not good in any situation. I'm just an example. I think it's but, a word, so For example, now, idea. but look at it. But they both ignored them. Look now, WAP came out. They said nobody remember that Kadibi used the N word like three times in WAP. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, is, everybody is all focused this on This guy saw own... too when Nicki Minaj came out. He said the N word too, Takashi. Nobody remembered. The song went number one. WAP went number one. So my point in this situation is that do you, every other person will adjust. Yeah. Like, you can't make everybody happy, you're not a clown. I'm sure some people are scared of clowns. You're not a clown. Yeah, exactly. People, uh, not everyone like clowns. They're so that I'm going to clown. Make everybody happy. So just do you. Every other person is falling into a place. So another unrealistic message as petition is people feel everyone will support you. Like yeah. once you start doing something, once you start doing your business, or once you start doing something that you share and want to grow as a person yeah. you think every, even every loved one you think every, of course most of your loved one will support you yeah. but people always think everyone will just support you like yeah. to me so there are times that i feel like everyone will post all my videos but that the reality is not everyone will post my video like See, the people that will post yeah. it will post it the people that won't post it will post it and i feel that also sense of interest of entitlement i tell people on whatsapp every time stop posting things like Family support and um, people support this and support. Nobody, nobody sent to open business. Nobody <laughs> sent to do what they are doing. I'm serious. Nobody, people were like, oh, nobody. Like when I first started business, I said I have to DM people. I say, hey, help me with post, help me with post, help me with help me with that one. I know someone was expecting me to post, so I post, they post, they post with their status. Only the person does not post anything at all. You'd be like, any family member does not post anything on the status or anything, or does not do anything. Why is just helping promote my business? Nobody sends you a message. I'm serious. Every at the end of the day, your responsibility falls on you. Because I feel that that stems from a as, entitled, entitled place. Think that oh, okay, I want people, people must support you. To so support you is a choice. You understand? Like if support you be great for them, but then it is a choice. People can spend their money or their time or their data or whatever how they want to. And we don't have a say in it. And that's yeah. the truth. So, so I think that should be enough for in terms of unrealistic expectation i think a lot of us have learned that not everyone will support you not everyone will like you so when you're going to relationship thinking the person will help you out the person will bring out the yeah. good in you that's that idea of i'm going to relationship because i feel i'm not loved or I, you don't even love yourself and you expect somebody else to come and love you or that <laughs> you don't even love yourself and you expect the person to come and love you more than you love yourself it doesn't happen that way you yeah. have to love yourself yeah. first at that the end of the day it starts with you with you and you need to find happiness within yourself start to like do things that make you happy don't set stupid standards with yourself you know that first of all waking up every day first of all is a milestone there are some people now that when we sleep today they will not wake up tomorrow yeah sure you understand so waking up every day actually like what i do is that i set a like for example now what i do is that i set a overall goal okay by the end of this th time i'll be like between this period let me say let me say like a long-term goal let me say okay between now and next year december i want to okay let me say let me, let me say if i have to, i want to have a physical shop for my business mm -hmm. that's my long-term goal but within my long-term goal, goal i'll just set smaller short-term goals so by that time if probably by next year december i don't have my own physical shop i would not be sad why because when I look at my plan, I said, okay, I did not get to the shop, but I not get the shop, but look, I got this, I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that. So at the end of the day, I still won. So that is a very big lesson to learn. Always set realistic goals. Mm -hmm. Goals that I know that at least if I don't get this, I will get this. Uh, no, we are not saying you should not have a big dream. Have a big dream. But in that your big dream, I don't know that. Not everything will be achievable. That's the, that's one thing I always believe that not everything will be achievable. Maybe somebody else might not like what you do, or somebody don't like people's opinion deter you from what you want to do. Not everyone will like you. Always know that not everyone will support what you are doing. So just do you.
people that will like you will like you, people that will support you will support you. The support will just come naturally when you are you. That's one thing. Once you are you, everything will come. So thank you very much. Especially if you stay to the end of this video. We hope to see, have more of something <laughs> on our channel. It's real guy. <laughs> it give you real advice. And I think uh, if you like the video, you can uh, no, not if you like the video. Of course, if you like the video, that's why you stay to the end. If you please show support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Comment down below what you feel some of the unrealistic, uh, unrealistic expectations in terms of relationship or personal growth. Uh, thank you.